It's the Joe Panula Show, Clarksville's conversation. Absolutely. Uh, intern Shane, uh, part of your uh, part of your interning here is you're doing a story, and uh, I want to talk about dating. Yes, sir. Especially online dating, because it's uh, it could be a little risky, right? Yeah, it can be. All right, and there's one woman who thought that she met this nice guy. Oh, got catfish, huh? And uh, well, I don't not uh, even catfish. Something a little worse. They were introduced virtually by a mutual friend, mm -hmm. and there was a distance between them, like fifteen hundred miles. He was in Texas. And where was she in? She was in uh, Fort Wayne, Indiana. Okay, so Indiana to Texas. And then she flies 1,500 miles to meet the guy, to go on the date. She got stood up at the airport? Yep. Why? What happened? Break uh, it down. There was no explanation, but apparently the way how she described it, during the flight, sometime in the middle of the flight, he blocked her number. Oh, and God. he, uh, uh, by the time she got there... Uh, nobody was there. She was just left alone at the airport, and she texted other people who knew him. And it turns out... So this lady here, okay? Man, okay, so yeah, so boom. Okay, tell, tell me about the... Med oh, look at those. When did this happen? You got to be careful the girls with the big hoops, too, by the way. Maybe, maybe that's the thing. They're ankle holders, too. Are they? Yeah. I don't get that. Well, I'll explain it to Shane later. Okay. Wait, wait for the break. They got it. Tell me about the messages. <laughs> so, the messages, they seemed a little friendly at first, but then right here, this part, uh, he says that he, I'm not in the best mood. And then he Hey, keeps, good morning. Okay. Hot. Hey, good morning. I'm, I'm not in the best mood. Uh, Red Pill Jen, can you do the yeah. voice of the girl that's in blue? Okay. Lawyer okay. Wayne, could you do the voice of the guy in uh, gray? Okay. Okay, Red Pill Jen, go. Okay. Good morning. Hey, good morning. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not in the best mood, to be honest. Well, what's wrong? Oh, my bad. I can't read. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. Do, do this you, is horrible. Yeah, thank you. I'm blind. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm blind. There you go. Um, so, uh, do you still want me to come? <laughs> Just let me know. Uh, uh, LMK, please. Oh, LMK. Oh, my bad. Just LMK. Because I think I only have so long to cancel. Okay, now, by the way, this is yeah, this every is, hour. Yeah, right, right. Nonstop, no replies. Here's, yeah. here's the frantic. Call me when you're free, please. An hour and a half later. Question okay. mark. And then at, at, from 1130, that's when she says, call me when yeah, you're free. You. And then, and then uh, what do you say at 304? At 304, oh, uh, at 304 was just question mark. Uh-huh. And, and then. So I'm preoccupied here. I got a snake. And then, um, and then three, uh, almost four hours later at 6.50 p.m. Do you work any days I'm there? And then, about another three hours later. I just, all I can read is, I'll be going to Bobby, because there's a little line through it. I'll be going to Bobby. <laughs> and then, Lawyer Wayne, you finally reply. You always saying that. Come this week, coming. <laughs> FaceTime me. I pay it, but you don't think you serious, or I can take you serious. Uh, what, 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 what is with the grammar? What is that? Uh, I, and then, uh, immediately, uh, Red Pill Jen, you reply with. It's simple. Yeah. Because, and, yeah. And thumbs then, up. Th okay, thumbs up. <laughs> okay. So? And that's the conversation. That was it. So then what happened? Uh, what, what happened, uh, uh, intern Shane? So after he, uh, after he stood her up, like I said, uh, she tried contacting the other uh, people who knew him, but he also blocked their numbers too. But thankfully, she was able to uh, find a friend who actually lived in the area, uh -huh. and she's staying with them currently. Okay. Uh, she's like uh, she's staying with them until she at least finds a way back home. So she's stranded. Basically. <laughs> Bless her heart. Now there's it, there's nothing about that text message exchange that would make me want to book a flight and get on an airplane. Well, it sounded like he paid for it. I, I'm that, guessing that. Right. That, that that's what I'm he getting at. Oh, no, no, no. She. Uh, I think she did. Yeah. It's let's see, let me find it. He said he said something about paying. Yeah, he says he says this. I pay it. I pay it, but you don't think you serious. <laughs> Here it is. Uh the twenty three year old who owns a baking business spent three hundred and eighty dollars oh. on a plane ticket Ooh. and flew fifteen hundred miles to see her online love interest. You know how they say crack dealers shouldn't, you know, smoke their own stuff? <laughs> don't what, use your own product. What does she do for a living? <laughs> She's a baker. She mm -hmm. owns a baking business. Mm-hmm. 
Why? Why? Yeah. Why? 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 Imports and exports. All right. So hopefully she gets back then. Yeah, hopefully. It's well, well, flights are cheap now, so. Ba- yeah, <laughs> like uh, my friend, uh, we, my best friend, we, fl- we planned this whole surprise party for him a couple weeks ago. And uh, his girlfriend, who lives in Minnesota, me and our other best friend, we planned this whole thing out, and uh, we had her fly over here, and I was surprised at how cheap the tickets were. Yeah. So three hundred eighty dollars uh, for this, like, I mean, three hundred eighty dollars wasted. I, it's understandable to be upset, especially in that current situation. But that's a cheap plane ticket compared to how it was before. Now, intern Shane, would would you? Okay, because you're looking, right? You're on the market. Uh. Yeah. Right. So, okay. Do you use any of the uh, the the online dating services? The only dating app that I use uh-huh. is the one that I mentioned before, uh, called Kippo. Kippo. It's the uh, dating app for gamers. Okay. Or at least that's how it's uh, advertised. Yeah, right. I like this Kippo. All four people that are registered on there. No, I, I bet there's a lot of gamers in there, right? <laughs> yeah, there probably is. Oh yeah, I've I've talked with a few of them. Yeah, and how do they look? Uh, I don't know if I'm allowed to uh, showcase them. They Here. look like gamers. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, okay. They look like this. What, when you when, when, <laughs> when you go on when you go on Kippo, okay. When you first see like their uh, profile, uh, do you based on a look? Do you do you swipe right or left on this app? Does it work like that? Well, there's no uh, right or left, but so there's an X and a heart. So X is basically the what I want to say. Swipe left to like what was it? Skip. Reject. Yeah. Or to skip, okay. but uh, and then heart is when you just like their post or like their profile. Okay. Or you can message them. All right, I'm on. Uh, I'm on Kindo now. Okay. Kip. Oh, Kippo. All it's right. like hippo with a K. Uh, are you right or left? Are you swiping on Brandon? Twenty-six. Uh, Left is a skip, right? Yeah. Left. Parents okay. gave me a boy's name, but call me Apples. Mm-hmm. <laughs> She's got an apple in her mouth. It's like call me Apples. Oh my god. Oh yeah, it's like it, the character uh, Abigail from Final Fight. <laughs> those with the iHeartRadio, okay? Uh, if you want to see what we're looking at, uh, go to the Joe Padula Show on uh, YouTube or Facebook. You'll see the uh, live video feed. Don't forget to click like, subscribe, and share. This one's a real keep. Ooh, ooh, oh, ooh, what about Caitlin? Swipe right. I do right. her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Swipe right. Right. You, you wouldn't even read though. Because twenty-one-year-old Caitlin, okay, you don't need to be able to read in bed, Joe. Have W tattooed on both ass cheeks, so when I <laughs> bend over naked, people say, "Wow." I love her already. I want to marry this woman. Uh, that's She's a good amazing. One. That's clever. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, w- would you still? <laughs> Who wouldn't want to swipe right? But you know what? For that, that's she, genius. She get a heart for that one. Oh, here, here. Let me put <laughs> it up bet, on the screen. Hold on, my I bad. I bet fifty bucks that is not her real picture. She looks <laughs> nothing like that. I no, mean, nothing like that. No, that's mm. like that's Insta model material mm. there. Yeah, true. That's yeah. She took that out of Cosmo. Okay, what about uh, what about Leah, who's twenty years old? She's cute. Oh yeah, she looks nice. Yep, she says I'm dying, so you don't have to worry about a long term commitment. <laughs> oh, I didn't. Oh, she's got a little oxygen thing. I on didn't her notice nose. the whole. Oh I didn't notice God. the thing around I didn't her. Either. Would you still swipe right? Uh, absolutely. I'm not comfortable with. Uh, I, I don't know. It's oh, he's looking for a long-term relationship. Oh, okay. Yeah. You're looking oh, for a long-term relationship. He's looking for a short-term thing, huh? uh, <laughs> All right. Excellent save. What about the Abby, who's 21? I get to, to know you. Uh, cheesy pickup lines will, will wow 97% of the time. Um, bye. So, so hit me. So hit me up. Would you uh, would you go out with a buy girl? She works at IHOP, so yeah. she probably gets a discount. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, can we can we talk about those brows though? And the the eye, I mean, my God. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> what in the? Oh the? my God! Do you dare? What is that? I don't know. It's I got to play golf for this. What is this? Tenacious D. Oh my God! <laughs> All right, so uh, so. Yeah, would, would, oh, how about uh, how about a party girl like this, 21 years old? <laughs> how would I describe myself? That's fun, right? Three words, hardworking, alpha male, uh, jackhammer, merciless, <laughs> insatiable. That's, <laughs> that's what the three words. I was going to say, that's not three, that's not three words. Samantha, she's 21. She's uh, standing tall at 52, uh, uh, five foot two inches. Uh, I want to do adult things with you. Uh, whispers, taxes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, that's funny. That's clever. Panting that's funny. Uh, softly, pay the mortgage. <laughs> Moans. Make sure we turned off all the lights. Our utility bill was effing three hundred dollars this month. Hey, baby, did you lock the front door? I want Samantha. Uh, oh, that's great. That's great. Uh, how about Amy? Twenty-three. She's got she, look. She's got comic book stuff on her shirt. It's right up your alley. That's Hello Kitty. No, that's not comic book. It used to be my middle name actually when I was a child, but that's a different story. Yeah, she's twenty-three years old, and uh, she says. Uh, my third photo is wearing uh, is wearing 21 shirts, and I also do... Oh, never mind. <laughs> Family? Oh. Mm -hmm. How about Judy? Oh, Judy. Would, would you date older? Judy. 77. Yeah, she's 77, and uh, she's looking for a boyfriend for my grandma. Okay? Well, this one girl's looking for a boyfriend for her grandma to take care of her and live out the rest of her days. She's a simple woman who loves Garth Brooks, and the price is right. <laughs> Please be extremely respectful and possibly have a dog. She loves dogs. You love dogs, right, Intern Chain? Yeah, I love dogs. She's a great girl with lots of love to offer. Would you would would you uh, go out with a seventy seven year old? I, no, I'm I'm sorry. It's that kind of goes against the the long term relationship requirement. I'm, I mean, I'm not yeah, trying to be she's, rude. Uh, but she's got a point. You could I mean, be, but hey, you like, could be put in the will. Oh, you hey. could be like Anna and Nicole Smith. Uh huh. But, right. but the guy version. <laughs> nah, hey, I wish you luck, brother. Maybe you can go out with Hot Dog Girl oh, here, she, Becca, she 23. Really hot Dog? <laughs> mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, Becca. Becca, Becca. She, and her, her, in her bio, it says, I don't have Ebola. So she's got that going for us. <laughs> oh, yeah, I remember that. That was a 2015 uh, virus that <laughs> happened that everybody freaked out over. I remember. Oh, wait. Nobody really freaked out over that. Nobody really in my – we never had a school lockdown over that. I know. I know. <laughs> Ebola was only transferred, if I recall right, through fluids. Basically, you had to touch someone's guts in order to catch it. Yeah. Mm. Or an open sore or yeah, something, it was, like that, yeah. something like that. Yeah. Something like that. like a blood trans And trans if you got it, bad. All right. Okay. What, what about uh, dating with uh, in this COVID pandemic? Uh, okay. Uh, I mean, here it is. Okay. If, say if you, you, you if, do find a nice girl. If you're not scared of kissing that STD, then – Right? I, I, I mean, uh, would you be concerned about kissing a girl in this uh, in this day and age? Uh, a little. Yeah. If I uh, if we do decide to go out, uh -huh. then I'd be more comfortable if we both get tested first. <laughs> That'd be your first date. <laughs> you go on a COVID <laughs> test. First, first, first little COVID, 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 COVID drive-through. Uh, well, not not not, not necessarily not not necessarily COVID. <laughs> it's like. Uh, uh, what was it? The, the Weird Al Yankovic, like, just the drive through song? Having fun at the drive through for COVID. Having fun at the drive through for COVID. I don't know that Weird Al song. Uh, but he, he make him, he making fun of R. Kelly. Yeah. Oh, uh, Trapped in the, the drive through Yeah. Trapped in the closet or something yeah. like that. But uh, I'm, I'm more referring to, like, STD-related tests. Mm. Yeah. You going to do, like, Trump and make everybody get a test before you date him? That's what he used to do. It's more... Still does, yeah. I assume. <laughs> I'd just be more comfortable. Well, it is if you're going to ride way. bareback. That's smart. I mean, you know. <laughs> is that another one I'm going to have to explain to Wait, you? Wait, so you're going. No, I know what bareback <laughs> is. You, you're going on your first date. You're doing a COVID test and an STD test? Uh, that, would, that would he say? Wow. Well, well like, not as a... Go you Not like, as a first date. I mean, more like like before we actually get in a serious relationship and oh, start dating. That's more okay. second date material. I Got think. it. Yeah. So you're gonna okay. All right. What if she comes back? What if she's beautiful? She's gorgeous, and she she loves what's ever on your t-shirt. <laughs> and she comes back. She's got herpes. You still gonna date her, or, or are you a herpist? Nah. <laughs> you know, hey, intern. Well, I don't really, I don't really want herpes. You know the difference between love and herpes? What? Herpes is forever. Yeah. <laughs> Again, she makes a fair point. <laughs> now, what if, what if you end up loving this girl? Would she be worth the herpes? Don't answer that. <laughs> Why? Please don't answer that. Do you know what I mean? I'm the most... <sighs> I'm the most least experienced when it comes to love, and you give me the hardest questions in existence. Well, Lawyer Wayne, you're the closest one here to a yeah. doctor, okay? Um, sure. <laughs> I have a juris doctor. Yes. I'm a doctor of law. Yes. <laughs> there was, you know, there was a doctor of law before there was a medical doctor. See? In universities. See? So my kind of degree, I'm the original doctor. 
Do you guys know what the original uh, university in America was or is? What? Any guesses? Isn't Yale. it uh, George, like Georgetown? Or? It's not Georgetown. No. no. New York somewhere? It's not New York. No, 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 not in New York. It's Harvard. 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 Okay, okay that makes The sense. first university of America. Now, back to my doctor's <laughs> question. <laughs> right. All right. Say intern Shane meets the love of his life. Right. Okay. She's gorgeous. She's a nerd. Right. All right. Uh, she... She's got herpes. Right. Okay. Intern Chain, you want to be a father one day, right? I plan to. Right. Can can this herpes couple have babies? Yeah, there's a way around. <laughs> yes. There's okay. a way around that now. Yeah, so the so the baby doesn't pop out with herpes? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. I believe they have a, a solution that they put on their kid's eyes when they're born ah. in particular. I, I've heard that they if actually, ha- that. if it's if the mother is due to give birth while she's having an outbreak, that they have to take the baby by C-section. I don't know if that's they true. They have to? Well, just because, I mean, that's, I don't know. just could, I suppose. Intern Chan, would you date a girl with C-section scars? <laughs> that would mean after, that would mean that they've already had yes, a. Yes, that's right. So you would you date somebody with kids? Uh-huh. In other words? Yeah. No. No. Um, I'm. <laughs> I I want to date, but I don't want to be a stepfather. Oh, okay. Now, what if... I don't want to deal with kids right now. What's the oldest you'd, you'd date? About... Well, I do like older women, not 77-year-olds. Yeah. You better year be old, polite just. because I am totally within range to smack you right now. No, so no, I'm I just saying. I didn't mean... To what's older? What, what, what's uh, the age? Would you go up to 21? <laughs> Uh, usually, or do uh, I gotta be younger than that. <laughs> well, <laughs> give me a second. R. Kelly tr- over here. Oh uh, no, no. <laughs> I mean, like eighteen to twenty-one, <laughs> obviously. Yes, but since I'm twenty-three, I don't mind dating women who are at least what's older. Two, thirty. Over uh, two years older 30. than me. What is an older one? You go out with somebody that thirty year old. Yeah. I mean, someone who's like two or three years older than me. Oh, I don't mind so, that. Uh, Twenty-six is the high you go. Or is that too high? <laughs> no, 26 is not bad. Oh, so, you, okay. Uh, you what? must just think, like, I'm grandma over here sitting next to you. you no, know, 40. Oh, not... my God. She's just early bird special. <laughs> no, that's not true. All right, Lawyer Wayne. Here's some mm, yeah. uh, here, here's some older uh, women. Okay. Okay. So, uh, yes. intern Shane. Yes. Uh, w- would you date Elizabeth Hurley? Yes. This is on Ranker. She's ranked the uh, the number one hottest older broad. Yes. Yeah. She's got that uh, Austin Powers money. Dude, too. she's like she's in her fifties. Yeah, but she's 55. I, I don't think Apparently. that's what she looks like right now. At fifty-five, I wonder. You know, Monica yeah, Bellucci. Plastic. Ooh, she's cute. No, <laughs> she's annoying. She's fifty-six. <laughs> she was in the Matrix. Christy Matrix Brinkley movie. still looks fantastic. She does. Yeah. I don't, know, I don't know who she is. What is she? She from? was a model. She was one of the biggest models. She's okay. sixty-six years old. She was married oh, wow. to Billy Joel. Yeah. Uptown Girl was mm-hmm. written about her actually. Okay. Yeah. Uh, she was uh, she was the one in National Lampoon's Vacation, the first one. She was driving that sports car. Oh yeah, okay. okay. Mm-hmm. Michelle Pfeiffer. Oh yes, she, Michelle Pfeiffer. Definitely. No, she looks like a. Uh, she doesn't look. She she's aged like fine wine. <laughs> she looks like a troll now. She's always looked like a troll. And look, <laughs> look at her bed hair. <laughs> All that money, and she can't afford a brush. Rachel, oh, I liked her from The Mummy. Rachel Weiss. Oh, she's cute. Yeah, yeah. She's got the weird bicuspid teeth, though. Oh, Jennifer Conley. Ooh. Oh, my God. Look Jennifer at that picture. Jennifer Conley's old? She's 49 years old in okay. this. Okay. Yeah, because uh, Fast Times at Richmond High, well, she was in her teens then, probably. No, she wasn't in that. Yeah, she, what, that wasn't she the one that was topless? No, no. That's Phoebe Cates. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Jennifer Conley, first big movie I could think of her in is uh, Requiem for a Dream. Uh, I I can go. Was well, she guess, uh, Labyrinth? Oh, Labyrinth. Wasn't that's she that's the, where I knew her from. Was wasn't she the girlfriend in Requiem for a Dream? She was. Mm-hmm. When when they were doing the drug uh, yes. drug dealing stuff. Her drugs. poor lower back, though, huh? Yeah, those mm-hmm. are some jugs. Amy Adams, she's forty six. That doesn't count as old. Forty four is not old. Yeah, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Kathy Ireland. Ooh. Wow, I'd she's say got yes. some work done. I liked her in uh, Necessary Roughness. She was the kicker on the football team. Hmm. Okay. And she kicked the one guy in the in the hoo-hahs. I just know her from that line of crappy clothes she had for Kmart. Oh, yes, that's you right. That? Charlize Theron, 45 is not particularly old. Yeah, I mean, once you hit 50, old. then you're, if you still, you know, she looking is good, then that's something. Well, she still look good. Yeah. Or the old order on Netflix. Oh, yeah. She got. 
She's the hottest South African I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> this is making me feel like I need to leave here and go buy a cane. Sandra Bullock is one who ages well. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. She's 56 years old. She's got that girl next door thing going for her, though. I mean, oh, she's skeet, beautiful. Skeet, skeet, skeet. <laughs> right. I thought she looked best, actually, in the movie Gravity. I didn't see that one. Mm-hmm. That's the only the one, one with George yeah. Clooney? Yeah. When yeah. they're in space. Yeah, they were in space. Shania Twain. Oh, did I have a little crush on this 55-year-old Canadian? She still looks really good. <laughs> yeah. They did that live COVID special earlier this year. Ooh, and she Lucy was Liu, it. yes. Oh, you got an Asian, you got yellow fever? Oh, <laughs> it's called COVID-19, sir. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> uh, oh, my God, you did not just go there. Lucy Liu. <laughs> yeah, no, I got a crush on her, too. I like they're in, uh, what's it called? The, uh, Kill Bill. Uh, Kill Bill was good. Charlie's uh, Angels. Charlie's, Charlie's Angels, Angels, yeah. yeah. Uh, who was also in Charlie's Angels? Well, there's Drew Barrymore. Uh, here, here you Cameron go. Diaz. Kelly Hugh. Yes. Here, oh, you do got a little bit of that Asian Asian fever. persuasion, baby. Wow. Well, if you yeah. like anime, yeah. It's, oh, it's, Salma it's, Hayek. It's, oh, my God. That's, <laughs> that's the one. That's the one. Salma Padula. Yeah. From Mexico. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'll, I like that restaurant. Where, uh, I'll build her wall. <laughs> Olivia Newton John. She looks rough. Yeah, she well, she 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 lost the the puppies. She's seventy two. Yeah. Wow. Okay, I take that back. She's seventy two. She's looking pretty good. Elizabeth Shue, Kim Basinger, and I mean, yeah, I don't know. Catherine Zeta Jones. Yeah, they're, they're all old hotties. <laughs> Heidi Klum. Oh my oh, God, yeah. do I love her on that stupid show, America's Got Talent. She's gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> Lawyer Wayne, your wife's not gonna get upset that we did this, is she? Uh, I don't think so. Okay, good. I doubt she's watching this. Oh, oh yeah, she don't want to listen I to mean, this. At crap. this point, this show, yeah. sitting here ranking older women and how hot they are. It's for it's for him for, to see if if Shang would swipe right on him. <laughs> listen, I had we know to, he would. I had to find out if he had. There's not a person on that list that he wouldn't swipe right on. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's because not He's only are they point. pretty good looking, yeah, they're also all rich. Yeah, right? exactly. well, I'd swipe that, right just for the freaking bank account. <laughs> He'd be like, screw it if they got kids. I don't care. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Joe Padula Show. Bada bing. Clarksville's conversation.